Hey man, I just really need somebody to talk to right now. Can you give me a call back? Hey, can you please give me a call back? I just really need somebody to talk to right now. Please. Nobody wants you here. You're useless. Just end it already. Stop being so selfish. What about everybody else? Just give up. Nobody thinks you're gonna do it. Just end it. Just fucking end it! In the United States, Suicide is the 12th leading cause of death at approximately 46,000 deaths every year. Between the ages of 10 and 14 and 15 to 25, suicide is the second and third leading cause of death respectively. Males are approximately four times more likely to commit suicide than females. How do we help those that need it? Well, a conversation can start it all. If someone is going through a big change in their life, such as a relationship ending, a job loss or change, or always seems to be happy and never asks for help, reach out to them and ask them if they need anything and ask them how their day is going and if they have any thoughts of suicide or self-harm. If someone wants to talk, listen, don't judge. People who are going through depression and suicidal thoughts sometimes feel like it's the world against them, like they have nothing left to live for. Don't invalidate their feelings. Make them feel like they are heard and make them feel like their life is worth living for themselves, not for anyone else. Those that are suicidal are often accused of wanting attention. They are not heard, they are abandoned, forgotten, left to their own thoughts and brushed aside by others, and no one believes they'll actually do it. Reassure the person who is feeling this way that these feelings won't last forever. Ask them if they have a plan. Follow up with them for a few days after the conversation and encourage them to get professional help. If someone is in danger, call 911 immediately. Give the operator all the information needed and then find ways to distract the person from those thoughts, such as painting, drawing, or listening to music. Do not leave the person alone until help arrives. Be cautious with agreeing with them or saying, I know how you feel, because every situation is different. We don't all feel the same way when suicidal thoughts arise. 
When helping someone, we must understand that we should not be looking for solutions to their problems because sometimes there are no solutions to those problems. The best thing you can do is listen. Don't judge, don't give advice, just listen. If you need help, call the suicide hotline at 988. Reach out to friends and family. Look into getting professional counseling, therapy, or talking to a psychologist. You are not alone.